my air signs and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for joining me today. I'm doing your tarot love reading for March 5th, 2019. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get started. All right, Gemini, you guys have temperance. Libra, the emperor in reverse, and Aquarius, the nine of cups in reverse. All right, your guys' bottom of the deck shared energy is the prince of cups, clarified with the nine of swords and the four of pentacles. Your uh, overarching energy is the Five of Cups in reverse. Bottom of the deck after that is Hierophant. So some of you could um, be dealing with a marriage. Some of you could be uh, dealing with tradition, somebody from the church. Um, lots of things that could be. So, all right, we will start with your guys' shared energy. Dealing with somebody that you have... Um, a lot of love for that you are wanting to make a love offer to um, yeah you just really want to to give your love to this person which is kind of new for you because you guys have been really stressed out over a connection um, really overthinking uh, an ending to a relationship for some of you uh, really having your wall up your guard up um, to love in general um, due to somebody who had hurt you in the past, due to somebody that you lost a lot of sleep over, uh, had a lot of stress, anxiety, and depression um, from. So you really just kind of closed off and put that wall up. And now you have somebody that has come into your life that is kind of shaken your whole world up and really made you... Uh, have a whole lot of new feelings again um, and this is from stemming from you um, releasing the hurt of the past getting over the pain the sadness of an ending to uh, at one time was a celebration in your life to one time somebody who uh, who created a lot of happiness and love in your life but you uh, have let that go the healing process is over you have released that and now you are focusing on those two of cups that um, are truly meant to be yours. Um, so this person is kind of coming into your life and knocking down all those walls that you had created after the ending of this other relationship. For you, Gemini, you could be dealing most definitely with a Sagittarius um, soulmate energy. This is a divine connection. The uh, intertwining of two souls um, becoming one, Archangel Michael, most definitely blessing the connection here, but also, um, but also needing patience, patience to allow this relationship to um, form in a healthy way, not rushing things. Um, this person is also, I'm hearing for you, Gemini, very connected to spirit, very connected to source. This person could be um, very psychic connected. Uh, but the two of you are both very spiritual. Um, this is very good energy for you. Gemini, you didn't see this coming. This kind of caught you off guard, uh, hit you out of the blue. Let's see, Gemini males. Yeah, so Gemini males, um, this is coming in for you after a time of healing. You took your time. You uh, healed over the three of swords. Um, that somebody uh, delivered to your life you could have somebody could have left you in the past and that caused a lot of hurt a lot of heartache but um, you took the time to heal you you went through the healing process and now you are balanced you self-healed um, with the help of uh, your higher power um, and now Archangel Michael is blessing you with this connection um, this person is also going to help bring you even more healing to your life because this person radiates like I said they are very connected to source this person has very uh, high energy uh, yeah this person is is most definitely a good match for you Gemini males nice Gemini females you as well new love coming in for you um, you took the time to heal as well this was not easy for you 
um, Gemini. Somebody was very stingy with their time and emotions with you, um, causing you a lot of stress and heartache, causing you to wonder what did I do wrong? Why is this person doing this? Um, and and so on. But um, this person was not following their their inner guide. This person was refusing to move forward. Um, and so now you are taking the healing on yourself. You are doing a fantastic job with that. And now you are getting a chance at new love. I do see that this is not the same person that uh, left in the past for either one of you, Gemini. These are new people. Um, and both of these people, whether you're male or female, is very connected to source. Very, um, not, not necessarily religious, but very... Um, they know who they are. They're very well, um, they know who they are. They, they are very grounded, very energetically appealing and a very good match for you. Um, Gemini, this is definitely heaven sent for the two of you, male and female. All right, Libras, um, you guys are kind of, um, a little out of sorts, out of your element, um, could be dealing with an Aries but doesn't have to be. Um, you're kind of, uh, Libra, I hate to say it, but this is your energy I'm feeling. You're kind of all over the place. Uh, you don't know what you want, but as soon as you flip that over, as soon as you find your place in this world, as soon as you find your place again after healing from this heartache, because I do feel your heart was broken in this, Libra. Um, once you heal from that and move forward and find your place again, take back control of your life, I'm hearing. Um, you are going to have a promise of a new beginning. You are getting a gift of a second chance at life. Uh, not necessarily a relationship, but just everything. You kind of you kind of gave up hope with this in this little bout of depression. Um, you uh, Libra males. Um, but you are getting the second chance, but you can't be in reverse as uh, somebody who's controlling, trying to make things their way, uh, their way or the highway type of energy. Uh, Libra, you have to... Um, be in the moment and, and take control of your life. And when you do, you have a new beginning for you. Some of you are battling with addictions. I, I am hearing, and that's why. Um, so that most definitely take back control of your life and you'll have a second chance at um, everything that you're wanting and hoping for. Libra females, you have the three of wands at reverse in reverse. So you are um, at a distance from an Aries or a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius. Um, you had to walk away from this person, even though it broke your heart, Libras. Um, you had to walk away from this person because they were very controlling, very dominating. Um, it, things, like I said, things had to be their way, whether it was logical or not. Um, and you are going to move forward and offer your love to somebody else because you had to get out of this um, head fuck, for lack of a better word, of a person that you are dealing with. You are getting over the emotional hurt of having to walk away and leave that person behind, and you are going to find love um, within the next three to nine weeks. Um, and this was very hard for you. You really loved this person, but you just couldn't do it anymore. Aquarius, you guys have the nine of cups in reverse. So really feeling the sadness of um, losing somebody that you loved. Uh, you really thought this person was a, the person of your dreams. Um, you really thought this person and you were going to invest in your future together forever. And, um, and they, they left you feeling very confused, very anxious, very depressed. Um, a lot of sadness that you had to get over. But um, sometimes uh, God's blessings is not what he gives us, but what he takes away from us. And this most definitely is going to turn into a blessing for you Aquariuses. <clears throat> For you, Aquarius men, um, you're you're needing to focus on your finances, finding your stability, finding your feet again. Because um, this person, when this happened, kind of knocked you on your ass, and it's just time to get back up on your feet, get on that horse again, and move forward. Um, and you are going to focus on finances um, and kind of leave love behind uh, for right now. But that's only going to uh, usher you right into a new love interest. You could be meeting somebody at work as well. But um, it doesn't have to be. Uh, the beautiful thing about this is it's two nights. You're coming in equally energetically um, balanced. And it's going to be a beautiful relationship for you Aquarius males. Uh, for you Aquarius females, yeah, you, you, this was kind of a nightmare for you. You had to walk away from somebody who was sneaky, deceitful, cheating. It really did break your heart, like I said. But the person that you're coming um, into a relationship with next is not going to treat you like that. They are not going to hold back from you. They're not going to 
um, treat you as if um, you're just somebody that they can walk all over and uh, lie and cheat on and not have any uh, repercussions. This caused you a lot of sleepless nights. This person was would leave at all hours of the night. This person just had no regard for your feelings um, and really broke your heart and left you very sad. But uh, you are getting over that heartache and you are coming into new love. So be open to it, uh, Aquarius, both male and female. All right, let's get one card. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So just take the time to enjoy the little things and love it. Like I said, for all of you guys, love is going to find you. Um, Gemini, I do feel for both male and female, love has found you just as of recently within the last week or two. Um, and for you Libra and Aquarius, most definitely love is coming in. So remember to enjoy the little things and life itself. All right, guys, I want to thank you for joining me. Um, I do apologize for being gone the last couple weeks. I have been very sick um, and I had to take some time off. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding, your continued support of my channel and what I do. I couldn't do it without you. Much love and God bless.